Junior drivers today who will be the professional racing drivers of tomorrow are at the Premier National Karting Championships in the world. We're here at Rissington in the Cotswolds for round two of the Awning Company Super 1 British Karting Championships. Round one, we saw some exciting action across all of the classes, but for some, it was a little bit more exciting than others. The squabbling. Oh, big crash! Now, who was that? Oh, my goodness! Big crash on the start finish line here. Kaysen Gibson has snatched the lead. Oh, more contact! Oh, my word! Into the barriers goes Ben Fayers, and in with him comes Reggie Dewey. Six, 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 Jake, the six cart. And the 66 card, it's always going to end in tears. Reggie, pretty exciting race for you up at Rowan in the Honda Cadet class, not least because you were in it to win it up until the last lap, but just talk us through that incident that ended up with um, the 66 cart underneath the 6 cart, 666. Always going to go wrong that, but uh, tell us how that happened. Uh, basically, I go around the, uh, went around the outside of... I think Ben Kasselzak, Harry Thompson and Ben Fayers. And then we've gone round the outside. They're all squabbling on the inside. And I've just been, just had a hit from behind over the top and just gone over the top of my car. But you're OK anyway after that incident? Yeah, I was a little bit shook up, but, you know, yeah, I'm all right. I got passed by number 46, Archie Mace, and I tucked him behind him. And then I didn't see Oliver Denny um, being spat out into the barriers and I had nowhere to go whatsoever. I tried to turn as much as I could but I ended up hitting him at an angle so I ended up flipping around. What's going through your mind at that point? I hope I'm okay and I hope that I'm not going to have to be put in the ambulance and taken to hospital. You won't appreciate this but there was a time when Honda Cadet was seen by some people those people who were in the two-stroke cadet classes as a sort of inferior class. That's changed a lot since it came into Super 1 Honda Cadet. I've seen a lot of great drivers in Honda coming out of Honda, winning two-stroke. I remember Ben Cooper uh, in years gone by was in Honda. He came out and won the Rotax World Championships. Now you've gone from IAMI, which was the two-stroke cadet class, into Honda. That's an interesting transition. We see people going the other way. We haven't seen many go from two stroke to four. What was your thinking there? No, we were just like trying to get the best out of the year because it's my last year till I go into like an X30 or Minimax or whatever. So we just thought, right, let's have it. Let's just go and just do two classes, see if we can like get some money out of it for the next year and see like what will happen. And it's a huge amount of work, not only for you in terms of track time but your dad's here in the background working on your i army cart but he's also going to work on your honda so dad and lad running two carts for your dad it's a huge amount of work you've got to have a lot of respect for him haven't you yeah i have a really lot of respect for my dad it's um it's an amazing achievement what we're doing at the moment we're playing around with fusion aim like project one in the honda we're messing around with every like all the big teams and it's just Really good, it's massive. Okay, well good luck today. Thank you. racing in Super 1 in any of the Rotax classes this year, there's a new initiative on offer by the engine importers JAG. 
It's free awning space and free advice for all of their customers trying to level the playing field against the bigger teams. Earlier, I had a look inside the awning, but I started by having a quick chat with the spokesman from JAG, George Robinson. George, free awning space, free advice for your customers. What's the thinking behind it? It's a great service you're offering. We're not running a team as such. It's not a management team. What we're doing is we're trying to get some more people into Super One Racing, being able to race at national level with a minimal amount of support. So we, uh, we bought the awnings through JAG, who have sponsored the, the, uh, the arrangements, and um, we've got half a dozen people in this awning, and we've got another half dozen privateers that also come to us for, for a little bit of help and advice now and again. Tony, how have JAG helped you out this weekend? Um, well, they've helped us out from day one, to be honest. I wouldn't be in Super 1 if it wasn't for JAG, to be perfectly honest. Um, I couldn't afford it. So the help of the awning, the team, everybody helping, it's, it's uh, priceless. Couldn't put a price on it. And obviously the idea is to try and level the playing field a little bit against the teams. That's, that's difficult because the teams, if they've got six drivers, they've got six lots of data for a start off. But at the end of the day, this is factory support, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we know we're going to be at the back. I'm happy to be at the back. If we can just stay with the pack, that's made my day. So, brilliant. Carol, you've taken up the offer with JAG to come into the awning. It's a free service they've offered. How has that helped you? It's really helped me a great deal. It means that I can just turn up at the track and then pull all my stuff into, into their awning and they are providing help, offering me assistance and, um, you know, telling me what kind of setup I need or how I need to change the cart. So they're, they're, it's made, made a big difference. Even more important for somebody like yourself, of course, because you're mechanicing yourself and driving. Yes, yeah, it's, it's really helpful. It means that I don't have all that extra effort of putting up my own awning. You know, it's just impossible to do that myself. This is round two, but it's the first round for the X30 classes, junior and senior. Here are my ones to watch. 15 drivers take the grid in Junior X30, a novice in 2014, Jake Douglas has climbed his way steadily into contention at the sharp end and this weekend has been showing good speed, he finished second in time qualifying. Angus Fender showed great form in the series last season, finishing fourth overall and will go close if not win by season's end, with Ethan Pitt also likely to challenge for the top spot. Gordon Much comes into the series as the NKF Minimax champion in 2015 and so far has bagged himself pole position in time qualifying. If he can convert his raw pace into consistency in racing, he may well be the one they all have to beat. In Senior X30, look for the Morris family's private battle, not for the championship, but for family honour. Being a male chauvinist, I'm going for Richard over his twin sister Anna and older sister Eleanor, obviously. For the championship favourite, I'd have gone for Sam Marsh, but he didn't turn up for his photo. So I'm going for Aaron Mills, the 2014 junior TKM champion. He always runs at the front, but he's not set a time in time qualifying, so we'll have it all to do to even make the TV coverage in the race. For another championship contender, look out for Brett Ward. The MLC motorsport man could be the one during the season that will give Sam Marsh the biggest challenge. Before we get underway with racing, let's have a look at the virtual map of this Rissington track. Fantastic circuit it is. We come through the start line into the first right-hander, that's Paddock Ben, down to Spitfire, the right-hander here. That brings us into the loop out onto top bend, brings us down out of top bend, through sector one, through the S's, down to the dog leg, the tightest hairpin in the world, out of the dog leg, down to bottom bend, two turns, that's turn seven, turn eight, from the bottom bend to the elbow, the left-hander, and the final turn is pitch bend, that's a lap of the track here at Rissington. We're getting underway with racing run right after the break, the track looks dry at the moment, but somewhere in the paddock, Somebody's doing a rain dance and the gods are listening.